Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to say I'm sorry that there was no video last week. Um, I ended up having surgery and did not get a chance to film. Um, I'm actually still kind of recovering from it, so I'm trying to just take it easy. Now, I did not get a chance to do my 12 Days of Christmas giveaway, so we are going to change that to uh, 12 Days of Winter giveaway. <laughs> So I'll be starting that um, after the New Year's. I'm going to go ahead and just enjoy this time with family as I hope that you guys get to. And uh, after the New Year, we'll start doing the, the 12 giveaways that I have for you guys. So sorry that it's taking a little bit longer, but, um, you know, it really it just really couldn't be helped. But I do look forward to doing that with you guys in the future. Okay, so in today's video, I actually have a Ipsy unboxing for you. And today we actually get to do paid versus PR. Um, I have both of my PR packages from Ipsy and I have both of my paid packages that I purchased myself. So we get to compare and see is the bag that we buy just as good as PR. So I'm super excited to do this one. This one's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna go ahead and start with our PR box first and then we'll go through and see if Everything is just as good in my paid boxes. Okay, so this is what our little Ipsy glam bag looks like. It's super cute, very festive. And uh, one of the first items I got that's not in the bag because it did not fit was a pack of two face masks. Now, one thing I love about Ipsy is that you get two as one product. So uh, this one is Tis the Season to be Lovely, the Collagen and Squalene Youth Promoting uh, Collagen Boosting Hydrating Sheet Mask. And then on the other side, we have the 24K Gold and Collagen Firming and Moisturizing Mask. So these sound really nice. I can't wait to test those out. I love sheet masks, so those make me very happy. Now, the first item we have in the bag is from Seraphine and Botanicals. This is the Cranberry and Dew Dewy Lip Remedy. Um, I actually really enjoy lip balms. Uh, I have a lip balm in my car, I have a lip balm in my purse, I have a lip balm on my bed, in my makeup office, like I have to have it everywhere <laughs> at all times. So this is what the little case looks like, super cute, and it says it's supposed to smell like cranberry, but it kind of just smells like... I would not say it smells like uh, cranberry. It has like a very artificial smell to it. it, it it's hard to explain, but um, I don't know. We'll test that out a little bit later. Um, I already have some lip balm on my lips, so uh, we will definitely see how that works. Okay, the next item we have is from or Oriza Beauty. This is the Royalty Shimmer Eyeshadow Quad. No, I'm not going to open this because it does have a packaging to it. This honestly would just get lost in my collection. I wouldn't use it just because of the fact that it's so small. And I'm pretty sure more than likely I have similar colors in my collection. So this is what the shades look like. I'm sure it's really pretty. But I'm going to set it aside so I can put it in a giveaway for somebody else that can enjoy it a little bit more. Um, the next item we have is from Tarte. This is their Surfer Curl Mascara. Now, I cannot remember if I've gotten this before. I want to say that I have, but I can't remember if I like it or not. So, um, I'm actually glad this is in here considering I don't remember if I like it. And I love testing out new mascaras because if I wouldn't have tested out the, what is it, the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara, I would not know how much I love this thing because I love this mascara so freaking much. It's up there like in my top three um, and so as soon as I run out of this little itty bitty trial uh, I'm gonna have to buy a full size but um, yeah I'm super excited this is in here mascaras are a must for me that is something I can definitely wear every single day and the last item we have is from Dragon Beauty so this is the Dragon Wing liquid eyeliner um, I do not have anything from Dragon Beauty. Nothing really about it like caught my eye, so I didn't order anything. Uh, so, I mean, it's kind of cool that it's in here. I get to test out something from the brand. Uh, so, yeah. It is just a nice little uh, brush applicator. Kind of reminds me of the, the Tattoo Liner from KVD Vegan Beauty um, Liner, which I do enjoy that liner. 
So hmm. it's a little it's a little patchy. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, maybe I need to shape shake it up a little bit more. Um you know what, I'm going to take a picture and I'll put a picture of it right here to show you guys what it looks like, but mm, <laughs> I've never seen a liner do this before. What the heck? That's just, I don't know, I'm going to shake it up and try again. Alright, so that's definitely a little bit better. Um, now that I've shaken it up, I it, I shouldn't have to shake it up that much. <laughs> Just, ah! But um, yeah, let's do a rub test. See how this, yeah, it smears. Definitely coming off pretty easy. I'm not really rubbing my hand very hard, but uh, definitely not going to be an all day eyeliner. But. I do like the applicator on there, so eh, it's okay. Okay, so very quickly, uh, going over the Ipsy bag, we got the liner, which is, it's okay, nothing to write home about. Uh, we got the dewy lip balm, which is nice. We got the little quad, which is super cute. Uh, we have the Tarte mascara, which I love testing out mascara, so this is probably one of my top two in this bag. And of course, I would say my top product for this bag is the uh, sheet masks. I love sheet masks, and the fact that I get two for one is fun for me. <laughs> so this is an okay bag. Not the best I've ever received, but um, we got some okay stuff in there. Now they sent the bag separately and kind of everything in, in the box, so I'm just going to show you the bag. But look how cute this is. I love the little stars. It is just so pretty. Anything with stars on it, I am just like in heaven over. Okay, so the first item we have is from Ahava. This is the Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. Now, I have received this before in my Fat Fit Fun, and I did really enjoy it. However, I still have quite a bit left, so I think I'm going to put this away for a future giveaway. The next item we have is from Elemis. This is the Peptide for Eye Recovery Cream. I actually have tried two products from Elemis and I really enjoyed them. The only problem is, is they're so expensive, so I haven't been able to repurchase them. So I like the fact that this is in here because I already enjoy the brand and I wanna try something else out. So this is gonna be really fun for me. Okay, so the next product we have is from uh, Rodile. This is the Glass primer. Uh, it is a primer for a flawless glow. A sheer hydrating primer with a soft glow that keeps skin looking plump and moisturized with a flawless glass skin effect. Skin will feel cooled, calmed, and prepped for making for makeup creates a protective barrier on the skin to lock in water giving an instant moisture feel. It actually sounds really nice. Now normally when I use primers, I use um, pore perfecting primers and just a really good moisturizer before that. So, um, so this isn't a typical primer I would go after. So this is actually really cool that it's in here. I do like the little packaging. It's super cute. Um, hmm. Okay. It is not clear. I mean, I, I know there's supposed to be like a glow in it, but oh god, that stinks. <laughs> okay, I oof, I see like the sheen to it. It definitely feels cooling, and the reason, the reason, oh, ugh, the reason it feels cooling is because it it has menthol. So this is totally like this menthol smell to it, which I don't know I would if I would put that on my face. Even if it did die down some, oh, the instant effect of it is just bad. Even if it goes under my foundation, mm -mm, I don't want it. So let me go ahead and just get this right off because, oh 
why do I keep smelling it? I don't know, but that's, mm, 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 that stinks. Mm, mm, mm. Now, I'm not going to try that if one of my friends wants to try it, because uh, they're more than welcome to, but, ooh, you hear that thunder, uh, but that is a no-go for me. The next item we have is a set of two brushes. I love brushes, so this makes me super happy. Um, my favorite type of brushes to get are like eye brushes, uh, but every once in a while I do like a good face brush. So that's what these are. Let's see what these feel like. So this is from Bell and Argent. I don't think I've heard of them. Uh, this is the Spotlight Blush and High Spotlight Blush and Highlight Brush. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. And then the Leading Lady Powder Bronze and Buff Brush. So, ooh, ooh, these are soft. Oh, they're so soft. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so what did I say? This is supposed to be blush and highlight. I guess. Maybe more blush. No, no, I can try and use this for highlight. But, um, yeah. This I can definitely see using for uh, bronzer. Oh, it's so soft, you guys. Like, I could just do this for a little while. <sighs> Love it. Okay, so super, <laughs> super happy and excited with these. And for our last item, this is the uh, Kate Exfoliate Glow moisturizer I actually really enjoy her products I have the um, her exfoliator in my shower uh, as we speak so this is what the little box the container looks like has a little smiley face on or winky face on top <laughs> and let's see what this smells like hmm oh that smells good okay it's got like a kind of like a orange tangerine-ish kind of smell to it it's not bad so definitely excited to test this one out okay so for our glam bag plus we got the Elemis uh, peptide cream super excited for this we got the moisturizer from Kate Somerville super happy about that we have the Ahava hand cream which I really do enjoy the cream um, but I have so much I'm gonna go ahead and pass that on we got the brushes which make me very happy and the primer <laughs> so this one's kind of a dud for me so I'm just gonna set that aside but all in all I still think this is actually a really good bag I definitely will be enjoying these products here so super happy with that and uh, yeah let's go ahead and move on to our paid subscription bags so the first item I see is actually outside of the bag because it does not fit and we have a set of face masks and it is actually the same exact one so Super happy about that. I love that I got the same ones. It's definitely right on track of my profile. Uh, so I'm gonna put one aside for myself and the other one for a future giveaway. And then I have one more item outside of the bag and it is a brush. Oh, it's like Ipsy knows me so well. <laughs> so this is really cute. It's really colorful. Just makes me very happy. I love colorful brushes. Um, the quality is actually really nice and this is from the beauty crop that sounds familiar but I don't think I've heard of it is that kind of weird to say um, together but uh, yeah oh that feels really soft oh, I love that I would definitely use this for blush um, that's that's a good product okay so uh, we have the same bag open it up and the first item we have is what is this? It says Luminizer from you? I guess that's the name of the brand. I'm not really sure. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So let's go ahead and give this a little swatch. Now I only have one other like liquid highlighter and it's from Jeffree Star. I really like it but it is absolutely just like blinding so I know a little bit can go a long way Ooh, look how pretty that is it's like a pinky uh, kind of highlighter oh, that's really pretty see that was like a big drop you don't even need that much it 
but you can definitely rub it in and it kind of softens up so you can you do it like that and it won't be so in your face pretty okay all right moving on we have an eyeliner uh, this is from Tre Tres Luz. I don't really know how they pronounce it. I haven't heard anybody pronounce it yet. Um, this is the Intenso Liner Gel Color Pencil in the shade Grounded. Now, I love the fact that it is not a black liner. I have a lot of black liners, and I like to try different colors as well. This is like a, like a, a greenish gold kind of liner, if it's the same as here. Yes, yes it is. Okay, let's give it a, a nice swatch. Oh, that's so creamy. Oh, that's so pretty. Creamy and pretty. The, I like when it's really creamy like this because when I do like liners on, on my lower lash line or wherever actually, my eyes get really, really watery so it's easier if they're not like super stiff. Um, but this is really soft. Look how pretty that is. That is such a pretty color. So I am super happy with this. And the last item we have, ooh, it's from Oprah. <laughs> this is my paid bag, you guys. Like, I think it's better than the one that I got in PR. This is the blush in the shade Candy Apple. I really, really, really enjoy Ofra's blushes and highlighters. They are some of my top favorites. So I'm super excited that this is in here. That is a beautiful color. I don't own it, which makes it even better. <laughs> it's just, oh, that is so freaking pretty. Look at this. Oh, and it's buildable. I love that they're buildable. Look at that color. I am one happy girl right now. Okay, so really quickly, we're going to go over the bag for our paid Ipsy Glam bag. We got the Oprah blush, which is probably my favorite item in the bag. Super excited for it. We got the blush brush, which is a really nice brush. I love the fact that it's not like too like cheap feeling. It actually feels really nice. We got the set of sheet masks, which is a huge win for me. Uh, we got the eyeliner, which I love that it's not black. I love that it's a different color and a color I don't have in my collection. So this makes me really happy. And we got the highlighter, which is really, really pretty. I actually uh, use this type of shade of highlighter, so I'll definitely have to give it a test out. And uh, yeah, you guys, I think this is a really good bag. Like, like I said, this is better than my PR bag. This one makes me so happy. Moving on to our Ipsy Glam Bag Plus on the paid side. Ooh, what we got in here? Okay, looks like we got the other brushes. So these are the same exact brushes. They know what I like <laughs> and I love that about them. So the fact that I actually got these in my PR box, I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside for the giveaway in the future. And of course, this is the bag. Once again, super cute. So the first item I see is from Complex Culture. This is their Good Glow Blush Duo. I actually really do enjoy Complex Culture. I think they have some really nice uh, brushes. I think I might have a highlight from them. But overall, it's a pretty solid brand. Oh my gosh, this feels so freaking fancy. This is what the packaging looks like. Very sleek case. And, oh. <laughs> Okay, so that, what is that? It tells you how to go for a subtle glow or a total glow. So apply one shade or a touch of both onto apple of the cheeks for a flush of color or sweep the deeper shade onto the apples of the cheeks. Blend in lighter shade of blush up cheekbones towards the temple. So it has like a little face guide. I don't know if you guys can tell. A little face guide to tell you how they 
could recommend you to use them but I like blush a certain way so I'm just gonna do it how I like it but look at these blushes they're pretty I don't typically go for like pinks but more of the peachy color I do that's really pretty I I like the fact that the pink is a little bit more like a, a light subtle pink so I could definitely swing it and try and use it because uh, that deep like oh, pink in your face I, I, I just can't get down with that <laughs> so let's give these a swatch Ooh, they feel really nice oh I love that this has a little bit little bit of a shimmer to it but these are the colors right here and that's so pretty oh that's so subtle I love it and there's that peachy color oh, oh, these are so pretty okay I'm happy with that this is a glam light palette I don't have a glam light palette I don't think oh, okay so this is actually kind of exciting um, I heard such good things about this brand and I see their palettes and they just they they're so fun uh, so this is the actually the highlight and contour palette and it's called s'mores <laughs> that is clever okay let me get this open ah so the packaging itself is like a little s'more so you got the graham crackers on the front and the back and then you have the marshmallow and the Hershey's chocolate right here so cute I love it okay and then ooh, these are really pretty you guys so these are the three shades you get two highlighters and a bronzer and you have chocolate marshmallows and graham cracker <laughs> those are the actual names look how pretty this is oh I love that okay that would have been cool if it would have smelled like a, like something. I don't know. Kind of like how Too Faced there smells like chocolate. That would have been perfect for this. So here are the shades. And let's see. We got the bronzer. It's a little bit on the orange side for me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we have this highlight. That's really pretty. Oh, that's really pretty, you guys. I want that on my face like now. And then we have this one. That's too dark, but I can use that as a, a shadow. I can definitely use that as a shadow as well. But that highlighter right there. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. That's definitely going to be way too orange to be a bronzer for me <laughs> we are doing really good so far all right so there's two items left uh, the first item is the Kate exfoliating Kate Somerville moisturizer I did receive this in the PR box so uh, I will be putting this aside for a giveaway and then the last item we have is from Uma Beauty this is the Badass Icon Matte Lipstick in the shade Maya. All right. Oh, it's got a really nice heavy packaging to it. A badass does not talk about being a badass. <laughs> Very true. They just show it. And oh my God, that color is <gasps> so pretty. Look at that look at that that is so up my alley oh i'm in love okay oh, such a freaking pretty shade oh my god super creamy mm. Mm, mm, mm. i love it I love it. This is like the perfect color. Oh, this could be a new 
favorite. Oh my god, this color is stunning. Oh my god, that might be like my favorite favorite in this in this bag. Okay, so very quickly, let's go over our Glam Bag Plus for our paid portion. So we got the lipstick, which is dreamy, you guys. The color is... <sighs> Like, it makes me so happy. I'm so happy right now. This could be the only thing that I got and I would be over the moon. Okay, but <laughs> it's not. We got the Complex Culture Blush Set, which is really pretty. I love this blush right here. I will definitely use this one in the summertime for like a flush of color. Uh, we got the Moisturizer, which is really, really nice. The set of brushes, which is a really nice quality. Uh, what else did we get? We got the Glam Light Palette, which is super cute. I love the highlight. You, it definitely, you could do subtle, and I'm pretty sure that it's buildable, but the colors in here are really nice. I love the fact that we get to try a Glam Light Palette. Um, I hear such good things about it, and I can see why. This bag has got to be one of my favorites. Definitely outbeat anything in my PR box. I am, or my PR bag, I'm so happy you guys, like the paid bags knocked it out of the park. It, they are so good. My PR bags, they were good, they were good, but I think paid one, and that, that actually is a good thing. That means that the ones that I'm actually giving my hard earned money for, not only am I getting exceptionally good products, I'm also getting products that I would use and fit my Epsi profile on the website. So that's a huge plus, you guys. <laughs> that's actually really exciting. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked the way that I did this. Um, it was actually kind of fun seeing if I was going to get um, equal products in my bags and uh, yeah I think all bags were good and I like the way that this turned out this actually um, made me really happy so if you guys did like this video please give me a big old thumbs up I would really appreciate it if you are not subscribed please go ahead and hit that button down below I would love to have you and I will see you on the next video bye